Hi, I'm Matt, and in this episode, I will be answering the question for you whether you can safely run this style of GPS unit on 5 volts or not. So before we continue, you may be asking, Matt, why are you making a video about this? And the answer is very, very simple. I've had six or seven questions from people like yourself saying, Matt, that module needs to run on 3.3 volts. And there's me saying, I've run these on 5, point, uh, sorry, on 5 volts for absolutely ages. In fact, the pinouts, the, the connectors for these are specifically designed for a Pixhawk and a Pixhawk outputs 5 volts. So what's going on? Who is right and who is wrong? Okay, uh, or what is the right answer? And that's what I'm going to answer for you in this episode. So with that said, I've been and done my research and I've been and done some testing and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So I went off and looked on the data sheet for the uh, Neo MAN chip itself and there's, this is where the confusion is coming from because for the Neo M8N the supply voltage and again I'm turning my head on one side needs to be 2.7 to 3.6 volts. Now that rings true because according to the Banggood page or any other website where you buy this GPS module from, it will say in the specifications, let me hide, highlight this for you, supply voltage 1.6 to 3.6 volts for the Neo M8, and that should be N, okay? This is where the confusion is coming from. In the specifications, they are absolutely correct. The supply voltage to the Neo M8N chip, and they're, they're all basically the same uh, in here, is 2.7 to 3.6 volts. This is where the confusion is coming from because I'm here saying these will run on 5 volts. So I did myself a little bit of research. This is the pinout for the actual G, uh, the GPS chip itself. Down here in the bottom left hand corner, we've got ground, and then we've got VCC, which is the supply voltage to the actual chip itself. Now, rather than me trying to show you the GPS unit up on the screen, which will be futile, uh, what I've been and done, I've got a photograph of it here, uh, and I'm gonna go and draw on it. So let me go and choose red, okay? Now, this is the GPS chip, which we've just looked at the specification, specifications for, and that pin just down there is VCC. So that's the supply voltage, and of course, we've got a ground pin just to the side of it. So what happens if we supply this board with 3.3 volts, which I can very easily do via using an FTDI connector. I got the multimeter out and it's still here on my desk and I measured the voltage between ground pin here and the VCC pin. And the measured voltage was 2.97 volts. Okay, that's classed as happy days. That's well within, right in the middle of the specification for the chip. So next, I change the supply voltage to five volts. Okay, well, 4.99 volts. We're not gonna argue about 0.1 of a millivolt, you know, uh, or 0.1 of a volt, okay? So what was the measured, measured, let me spit my words out, what was the measured voltage being supplied to the GPS chip? Do you wanna know the shocker? Two point nine nine volts okay so how are we going from five volts to 2.9 you could explain the point or the the point three of a volt maybe being dropped over a diode or something like that and you would have got to the 2.97 volts okay but five volts down to 2.99 volts still within range and the answer is is that i'm pretty damn sure that little black chip down there which says one 5ZF, and I've tried doing some Googling on this one, I can't find any specifications for it. My hunch is that that chip is a voltage regulator. So to answer that question for you, can I power this GPS chip with 3.3 volts or five volts? And the simple answer is either. It does not matter, it appears that these units have a voltage regulator on them and it doesn't matter if you supply it with 3.3 volts or five volts, it's still gonna supply for all intents and purposes, three volts to the GPS chip. So I am so glad that I can give you a definitive answer, which is it does not matter. 
3.3 volts or 5 volts, it doesn't matter, it's still going to end up at 3 volts at the chip. And also the good news for you, it's a lot easier on these little flight control boards, which mine's down here plugged in, these little flight control boards, is that you, it's much easier to find 5 volts on one of these rather than 3.3 volts. So on that note, for myself, Matt, I hope you've been to learn something here today, which is 5 volts or 3.3 volts, it doesn't matter. Those GPS units will take either as an input voltage. And on that note, from myself, Matt, cheerios.